Across America these last several weeks, we have been witnessing a very troubling situation unfold. In real time, we are watching an organized, coordinated campaign to remove and eliminate all references to our nation's founding and many other points in our history. You know, rather than looking to the past to help improve our future, some are trying to wipe away the lessons of history, lessons that we should be teaching to our children and to our grandchildren. This approach focuses exclusively on our forefathers' flaws, but it fails to capitalize on the opportunity to learn from their virtues. Make no mistake, this is being done deliberately to discredit America's founding principles by discrediting the individuals who formed them so that America can be remade into a different political image. Tonight, tonight I want to invite you all and those around the country watching from home to remember some of the virtues of those who came before us. The founding generation has important things to tell us about America's past, its present, and its future. Remember, our independence was the result of many stars aligning, including a unique assembly of powerful writers, gifted thinkers, and tremendous generals. And don't forget, they were supported by a simple citizen army that defeated the world's most powerful empire. These men did not stage a revolt against the Kingdom of Great Britain for personal gain or for personal power. They did it because they knew they had to in order to defend their rights to live, work, and worship as they saw fit. You know, following the British defeat, we could have had a king, but instead, we had a man who walked away from his position as commander-in-chief, and then he also walked away from the presidency. These examples, like so many others, rarely make the cut when looking back on their lives, but they undoubtedly serve as an illustration of all that Americans should emulate. Now, towards this effort, the signers of the Declaration of Independence pledged their lives and their sacred honor. The Declaration is arguably one of the most important statements of purpose ever written, not just because it serves as a justification for our independence to the entire world, but also because it has led to our prosperity and inspired many other nations and peoples to seek freedom. These words are not remembered nearly enough today. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, and among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Let us never forget especially today, that our government <laughs> Let us never forget that today, that our government has the power that it does because the people have consented to it. We have consented specifically to a government that will serve all of us equally and that it will protect and uphold the fundamental rights enumerated by our Constitution. It is our duty to renew our commitment to these ideals and to pass them on to those who come after us. These ideals cannot be dismissed as the irrelevant opinions of flawed men. Our founders had their flaws, certainly, but to use those flaws to condemn their ideals is unjust and self-defeating. How many of us have lived up to our own ideals? Without the words, the ideals, and the sacrifices of these few, the world would not have a ringing example of true freedom. We can speak and write, worship, work, defend ourselves, and even protest as we see fit because of these men and their ideals. To attempt to cancel the founding generation is an attempt to cancel our own freedoms. Now, 